Today's video is sponsored by Wayfair. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox and today's video is probably the most exciting start to a little mini series I am doing on the channel that I could ever announce because today I am giving over a full house makeover to a Lone Fox family member. A few months back, YouTube actually reached out to me and said that they wanted me to work on a dream project. And I said that I wanted to do a home makeover for one of you guys, and that is what is happening. They made it happen. We actually found an incredible sponsor as well. Wayfair and YouTube and Lone Fox have kind of partnered up for this little mini series on the channel. And you guys, I am so freaking excited. I haven't even started it yet. Like I'm literally filming this before I even have designed anything. So we're gonna see how it goes. But about two months ago, I announced in a video that I was doing this giveaway and asked you guys guys for your submissions and we got so many submissions it literally took me an entire month to go through all of them you guys sent all of your spaces which by the way are so beautiful I saw so many Lone Fox DIY projects as well in your home which was so exciting but there was one family that really stuck out to me and that was the Sonza family hi Drew we're the Sonza family I'm Jennifer this is my husband Jim Jim this is our beautiful daughter Julia and then our dog here Mando! Say hi, Mando! We actually moved into our home this year in April. We were signing papers for the house as I was having contractions. <laughs> Yeah. So the notary drove to the hospital and we bought this house. It was a crazy story. As you enter in, here's the living room area and there's some windows into the backyard, which we love. There's a lot of beautiful things about this home, but obviously we still need help on how to decorate. I haven't done much just because having a baby <laughs> takes a lot of your time. As you move to the right, you'll enter into the dining room where the beams extend over here as well with the fan. These are the cabinets. Not too fond of them. Different variations in color, but I don't know how to make it work. Like a little breakfast nook area. As you can see, we have popcorn ceilings throughout, which eventually we were planning on getting rid of. Our bedrooms are here. So this is one of the bedrooms. It's being converted into an office right now for my husband because he works from home. And so we'll go into the master. So it's a double door that leads in. It's pretty spacious, but obviously no decorations have been done. Just furniture. We have this vanity area. Here's the sink. Not too fond of this. I don't know what material this is. You can tell it's a little bit outdated if you see here. Uh-oh. You okay? <laughs> You good, baby girl. More of the popcorn ceiling in this light fixture. These fluorescent lights that are like, I mean, I feel like I'm in a school or office building when I see these. Here's our bathroom. This definitely needs work too. Here's Mando looking out into the backyard. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. You guys have to admit, that is one of the cutest babies ever. And something else that actually Jennifer and Jerome wrote in their email, which is crazy. They had the notary literally sent to the hospital and she was signing while pushing out a baby. That is a definition of multitasking, honestly. So I think Lone Fox family members, Jennifer and Jerome, deserve a house makeover. And I have so many ideas for this house, you guys. I have quite a bit of designing to do, but something that I do wanna do is actually head over to Jennifer and Jerome's house to get a visual of what it looks like. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get over there. So we're gonna head over there and I'm going to be meeting them for the first time today, which is rather exciting. I'm also probably gonna change because it's pretty hot out today. So let's get on the road. I just pulled up to the Sones of Family house and I am so excited to go inside. I've yet to see it, only photos. So I'm about to head in and meet the Sones of Family and we're gonna start making over their house. So let's get started. Hi, Jennifer. I might perhaps maybe be outside of your home at the moment. Oh! <laughs> I am outside. She's coming. She's coming. Oh my gosh, she might. Hello. Oh, oh, 
Oh, she's so cute! Say hi! This is so surreal! This is crazy! I know. Yeah. Oh, is this my oh, 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 this is so exciting. So let's go ahead and walk through. I want to see your guys' space. So let me know, you know, what you like and what you don't like about maybe the living room. Sorry. Sure. We definitely love the themes. I don't know about the color. Okay. <laughs> I definitely am a person. I like it lighter and brighter. Got it. But I love that we have themes because I feel like it makes it look more open. And I love that you can see straight into the backyard. So it's like almost like as if you're like in the outside. You know? yeah. so like an outdoor, indoor. That. Yes, yeah. yeah. Outdoor, indoor. Uh -huh. Um, I definitely didn't like the popcorn ceiling. <laughs> that was the one thing. That was thing. the one thing. Yeah. We didn't even notice as when, when we bought the house. We were just so focused on, okay, big living room space. It yeah. has enough rooms for us. We didn't even look up. But... Yeah, the market is so crazy right yeah. now. We were just <laughs> like, well, it's, it's moving ready. Yeah, you know, yeah. And we're going to have a baby. So. <laughs> what kind of style do you guys kind of like? I really like the natural elements of like the bohemian style. Okay, love But that. I also love like pops of color. So, so that's a little bit of color. Boho, yes. bright and airy. Yes. Also, my husband, he's like, <laughs> he likes like nerdy stuff, so he likes Star Wars. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Things like that. I like nerdy stuff too. I just want it to be a combination of like all of us together you know, yeah. as a family, not yeah. just only one. So yeah. cute. I love that. <laughs> then you have like a little kind of play yeah, area. So this is Julia's um, play area right now. Got so it. we just wanted like a designated section for her. Yeah. I don't know how to like enhance or do anything about it. I mean, I just got I a play pen. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Definitely something, you know. Yeah, something yeah, cute. Yeah, Make just integrate for her it space. with the living room. Yeah, yeah. that'd be so nice. We <laughs> do like that. We like that. You're getting a lone fox makeover. Too. <laughs> oh, oh, she likes you. Yeah, she does. She smiles. She likes you. Yeah. Oh, so you're cute. so nice. Yeah. You're gonna get a new room. Oh, I know. I think um, the fireplace is under the media console. Yes. Yeah. So, oh wow. It's, so this fireplace, yeah, it goes all the way around, oh, like into the dining room. Kind of thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like that though. Yeah, That's it's nice. interesting. I have no idea what to do with it though. We have a lot of family that visits. So you're gonna entertain a lot. Yeah, we do. We Got do entertain it. a lot. So like a nice, like entertaining area would be really nice. Yeah, more seating. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I love this over here. You get such good lighting in here too. Yeah. This here is breakfast nook. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did you guys add this? I did. Yeah, I got it from Offer. <laughs> and I was like, I need to change something, like at least one thing. Yeah. And this is from our old apartment as well. Got it. So is this from Wayfair? Uh. It kind of looks like it. Yeah, actually. it does look like it. I'm not actually sure. I don't remember. Oh, you know what? Our TV stand is the actually TV stand is there. That yeah. is definitely for way <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's work into the kitchen. Okay. I, from your photos, I love your guys' kitchen. <laughs> I <laughs> love. <laughs> I love oh, the kitchen yeah. mango. Yeah. I love the tile. Thank you. I feel like tile countertops are actually having a moment right now yeah. in design. Yeah. I want to enhance the wood of the cabinets. Like that's what I'm yeah. really excited about. Yes. And then we can like take some of this. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would love like I don't know I something with the wood potential. like. I don't know, maybe do something different because I don't know how to style this. Yeah, we have no idea. Got yes, it. Yeah. I got you covered. Do not worry. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of connects into the dining room yes, area. Yes, right over here, here is the dining room area. And was this it? You guys said you bought this table yeah. in the email for like, outdoors, right? Yeah, so yeah. this was originally meant for outdoors because this actually extends. So there's like a little area because we have a lot of family. Yeah. So um, I just wanted like a big table in the backyard. But got since it. I just didn't have time to get any table or anything like so that. Can put this in the backyard? Yeah, you can oh, put it in the backyard. So yeah. dining table? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. And then I'm assuming this is like your guys' little morning coffee section. Yeah. Yes. I love coffee. Me too. I have a coffee bar at my new house. Oh, you do? The coffee bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yes, yes. Yeah. 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 I love that. I just love making coffee in the morning, so it's like my go-to like rituals. Yeah, so, like its own yeah. little area. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Give it its own moment. I love that idea. Let's head into some of the bedrooms. All right, we'll go ahead and just show you uh, the rooms in the house. Yeah. We'll, we'll go to the first one over here. This one is, uh, I guess this would be my space okay. almost. We're using it as an office for now. We just like to maybe make this space a- uh, Like multi multi-purpose. Yeah, multi-purpose. Got it. Like office space here, mm -hmm. additional- Yeah, that would be amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this would be like guest room slash office and 
I trust you. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to design. I, I work very well with small yeah. spaces. Okay. They're yeah. my favorite. Yeah, so we've seen little. your videos. We love them. <laughs> love oh, and this is a nursery, yeah? Yeah. This is Julia's room over here. Oh my gosh, you guys did such a cute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank decor. you. Uh, we closed on the house the day that she was born. We were just focused on raising her, and Jennifer really just did what she could. No, it was like so crazy getting this house because I was having contractions the day of, like when we signed for the house. So the Notary oh. came to the hospital, hospital lobby, yeah. and you're like, and I was having no. I, <laughs> that's how I was. That's I was sitting was. down in the chair, and I was like, I can't walk to you. You need to walk to me, <laughs> yeah. and I need to sign these papers. You're like, you need to actually sign it for yeah. me too. I can't do that. And then literally, I checked into labor and delivery, and then she was born that night. Yeah. It was oh. crazy. Yeah. 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 You guys really haven't had much time to actually work on your house. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, I just wanted one room at least that was a little bit more decorated. Than more your style. Yeah. yeah. You know, we we did what we could with what we had. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's go out. This is the guest uh, bathroom okay. over here. That's oh, a good size. It actually has cute yeah. tiled countertops as well. I kind of like the texture in it. Yes, it's I like that, that too. organic modern look. Yes, yeah. yeah. But we need to change the color. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know about the color. Like, this was built in the 70s, uh -huh. so it's, I mean, these lights right here, and you'll see in the master um, bathroom as well, yeah. it kind of looks like school lights yeah, or like office lights. Yeah, like the, yeah. Uh, I don't know what that's called. What's that? Pipe lights or whatever? <gasps> yes, um, I don't know. Is one that word called? <laughs> I don't, they're too outdated, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Our last space over here? Yeah, yeah. the master this bedroom. the master bedroom over here. Oh, this is a great bedroom. Yeah, this is what oh, made us enjoy this space a lot. Yeah. The little vanity area over here. Here. Yeah, so cute. I'm actually very excited for this. Oh, okay. Some good ideas. Yes, there's another um, bathroom. Oh, that's an interesting tile. Yeah. yeah. It's like retro almost. It is very retro. Yeah, very 70s. I don't I have no words for it really. I guess that was a style back then. Yeah, we, we learned to know, use yeah. it as a style. Yeah. Yeah. But then you see the lights up here and it's yeah. so oh, yeah, more here. Of these. Yeah, more of these same kind of lighting yeah. Yeah. that you would find in an office or yeah. in a school. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even like when you turn on the light, so like it really looks like Oh, you I can mean, see them in there. Yeah, yeah I hate this lighting. It just is so like I feel like I'm in a library or something. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a couple of measurements okay. and then I'm gonna get to designing. Oh my gosh! Yay. Oh my gosh! So you guys don't really have to do anything <laughs> except for wait for my text when I'm ready for the design. Oh my gosh! Oh. Thank you so much. All right. I'm so grateful for this. It's like amazing. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's my first ever time doing a full house. Oh wow! So I knew I wanted to do it for like a lone fox family. Number. I know. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. We're such big fans. Like I'll be watching you, and then he'll be listening in. Yeah, you know, like, that's for the me. way. That's <laughs> the way. It would just be. It's almost like a podcast I'm listening to. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank yeah. you, though. We're so grateful yeah, for this it, opportunity. It really means a lot. Yeah, yeah of course. I'm everything. so excited. Yeah. See you. See you. See you. See you. I just she literally goes, you? thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Her first word. Her first word. Thank you. <laughs> What's your first word? You mean lone fox? Lone, lone fox? <laughs> <laughs> It has been a few days since I went to the Sonza family's house and oh, I'm right here guys by the way. Um, but we are focusing on the computer right now because I'm actually looking at Jennifer and Jerome's Pinterest mood board. This is what they sent me over and this is their living room space. So she actually went through and did a great job on Pinterest of finding some images that she liked. And I will say that she did say her style leaned boho, but I do feel like she also has a couple other elements to her style that maybe she doesn't know about. And one of them being organic modern and the other one being kind of like a wabi sabi vibe. I really noticed that she liked a lot of very simple and clean lines. There was a lot of that throughout her Pinterest mood board, neutral tones. She did mention in her email though, and you can also tell as I kind of scroll through that she does love a pop of color every now and then. So that's definitely something I want to incorporate in the design as well. This is the living room. And one of the boards that they created was this fireplace board, which I definitely want to keep in mind. So I want to do some sort of treatment to almost give it this look, which I think is totally going to go with their vibe of just minimal, clean, but warm and cozy. So let's see some of these materials. <music> I went into my little office room and I pulled a bunch of things that I kind of feel like match the style and it's gonna give me a little bit more direction. This is something I love doing. And if you are designing a new room, um, it's great to just go around your house and pull things that you like, put them together, and then kind of realize what you like about those items and create the new space based off of those. So whether it be color, texture, you can use pieces for so much inspiration. For example, these two colors here, I know that Jennifer really loves the color green and I know that Jerome's obsessed with red. However, I was thinking that we can incorporate maybe this darker 
darker red tone, which would just be a little bit different than a traditional red, but still it's gonna fit into our palette. And then this green I also love, so I brought that in. As far as textiles go, definitely wanna keep it cozy. So I grabbed a bunch of lighter textiles actually, especially this freaking Sherpa. I think we wanna do like a little cozy chair in there. Vintage terracotta for sure. So I found this little pot that I am gonna use for inspo. Some wood tones. I really wanna incorporate a bunch of wood tones, of course. And then as far as paint, we are keeping everything really light and bright in the main area. So the living room, dining, and kitchen is gonna be more along the lines of like a shade of white. I'm thinking Sherwin-Williams alabaster because I saw a swatch of it at her house on the wall. She doesn't know I saw that, but I did see it. Maybe even some rattan, raffia cloth, like kind of that linen look material. I think it's gonna be really pretty. But overall, the style that I'm going to create in here is warm and cozy, bright and airy with a pop of color here and there that's still interesting. Did that rhyme? Kind of did. So yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of a visual. I also loved this kind of plummy, like light pink color as a pop somewhere, thinking the nursery, honestly. So these are some of the design elements that I'm going to keep in mind when designing the space. And I wanted to show you guys something visual because I'm gonna be designing it so virtual online and then you're gonna see it during the install. So this is the visual idea for what it's gonna look like. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that I really do the entire process of my makeovers from start to finish. But thankfully for this little project, I am having a little bit of professional help. I'm actually going to be bringing in some professional ceiling scrapers to scrape away the popcorn ceiling just because it's really, really high up and it's vaulted. So it's gonna be definitely a bit of a challenge. And then I'm also gonna be bringing in some painters to paint the ceiling as well once those are scraped. So when we walk in on the first day, it definitely should be a blank slate for us to work on the makeover. It's been about a week since I visited Jen and Jerome, and I have been working non-stop just designing this space on my computer, and I am so excited about the direction of this home, you guys. I am, of course, sourcing almost every single piece from Wayfair. However, I do want to add some vintage and antique elements to just add some more character and a little bit more livelihood to the home. This first one here is the living room, and of course, I knew Jen wanted this space to feel light and bright, and I am going to be brightening it up with some white paint, so I thought also we can kind of emulate these white curtains curtains as well just to kind of give us a full white backdrop and then add in some interesting elements when it comes to the furniture. I love how this chair almost has a boho vibe to it but it looks a little bit more elevated so I'm keeping this wood tone in mind for the space. I just love this kind of warmth and then I'm also thinking about adding these chairs as well. They're a bit smaller so I think that we can add more seating that way and then just some styling accessories. I wanted to keep everything in more of a neutral color palette for the larger pieces. That way Jen and Jerome can go in and use smaller decor items to add different pops of color or textures throughout the year if they want to change it up for the seasons. We are now in Jerome's space, which is of course going to double as his office, work from home area, and also a guest room. However, this room is a very, very small 10 by 10, just very standard bedroom, but we want to utilize the space as best as possible. So what I was thinking was actually using a trundle bed in here. I love the look of this trundle bed and just how they styled it almost as a couch just gave me inspiration to also turn it into a sofa in the daytime, almost have it as a day bed, but there's also an additional mattress that can pull out underneath. Of course, I could have done like a pull out sofa sofa bed, but I feel like who wants to sleep on a pull-out sofa bed? I feel like two twin mattresses is a lot nicer and you can kind of pick the quality of those. So then I also just selected a couple other elements such as this really fun rug here. I feel like it has a little bit of a masculine vibe to it, but still touching on our boho vibe that we're going for. I know that Jerome wanted a larger desk, so I found this one that I think is going to be great for this space. And how great is this desk chair with the green leather and the wood? Now I do want to take this room dark and moody, just kind of taking them out of their comfort zone a little bit. I love a dark office space as well. I feel like they can be so calming and just a nice environment to work in. And I just feel like this space, once we're done with it, is gonna look incredible. And the last space I'm gonna give you guys a little look at before the install is going to be the main bathroom. Now this area is going to need so much work. We have this intense like glass wall here. We have fluorescent lighting in the ceiling. We have Formica countertops. There is just a lot of not cute elements in this space. And I want to do my best to recreate it, but on a budget, of course. So these are some elements that I found from Wayfair. I thought these would be perfect options. I definitely want to make sure that we're using coordinating mirrors and fixtures just so it has some fluidity in it, because what I'm thinking about doing is a really unique DIY to these countertops, which you guys are going to have to stay tuned for. Maybe some wallpaper in here as well. I'm thinking about a striped option and then potentially even a new vanity in the right bathroom. And then just some cute elements in the vanity space 
space over on the left side, which I think these are going to look really nice, a little chandelier. Um, I know she loves that kind of whimsy, very pretty vibe, and I feel like this is going to add that. Then we have a vanity stool and just kind of a vintage inspired rug. So really excited about this space. I think it's going to be one of our largest before and afters. I'm currently getting a haircut and my manager said that she had to call me to tell me something that I needed to film for this episode, which doesn't sound good. Hello? Hey, Drew. How are you? I'm good. I'm just getting a haircut. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, um, I wanted to give you a call. I wish I had better news, but unfortunately I have some bad news. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> they found asbestos in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which means you're going to have to push everything back a few weeks. A few weeks? Yes, because we have to get an abatement team who can come and properly remove the asbestos so it's safe. What? Uh, um, well, the house, I mean, oh my God, I don't even know. The, the family is like out of the house because they were supposed to start working on it tomorrow. We're gonna, oh. You're gonna need to reschedule the painters and everything. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know. We're gonna have to get this this handled sooner rather than later. But yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a process. So I'm sorry about that. I wish I had better news. And yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. We'll figure it out. Um. Okay. Actually, the family's literally calling me right now, so I will <laughs> I'll call you right back. All right. Thanks, Drew. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks to Wayfair for sponsoring this video.